Let's now tell you what's happening in U.S. politics. The verdict for Donald Trump's hush money trial is out. The former American president has been found guilty on all 34 counts. He falsified business records to hide the money he sent to adult film star Stormy Daniels. And with that, Trump has become a felon. The first ex-president of the United States to be convicted of a crime. The sentencing will take place on July 11th, and as of now, he has been released without bail. In theory, Trump could be sentenced to four years behind bars for each of the count. Despite that, he is not barred from continuing his battle to unseat President Joe Biden in November. Nothing in the U.S. Constitution bars a convicted criminal from running for office. Now, the question is, will it be a disadvantage for him or serve in his favor? Trump is trying to spin guilty into gold. As soon as the verdict was out, Trump campaign issued a fundraising appeal on Truth Social. It said, and I'm quoting, I'm a potential prisoner. I was just convicted in a rigged political witch hunt trial. I did nothing wrong. So I need 10 million true MAGA patriots to chip in and proudly shout, I stand with Trump. Within an hour, Trump's campaign donation page saw an overwhelming surge in traffic to the point that it caused a temporary crash. This highlights the kind of hold Trump war has on the voters. Biden campaign also pounced to cash in on the verdict. Democrats too started a fundraiser saying, and I'm quoting again, despite a jury finding Donald Trump guilty today, there is still only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office at the ballot box. If you have been waiting for the perfect time to make your first donation to Joe Biden's re-election camp, we are here to tell you today is the day. There was no crash on its site, however. Gives you a little idea of the voters' sentiments. As for opinion polls, this indicate Trump is in a statistical heads heat with President Joe Biden, yet maintains a slight edge in many key swing states. But what may serve as the deciding factor this election are the undecided voters. You see in exit polls conducted during the Republican primaries, double-digit numbers of voters said that they would not vote for the former president if he were convicted of a felony. An April survey by Ipsos also found that 16% of Trump's backers would reconsider their support. Another poll in May from Emerson College indicated that 25% of voters would be more inclined to vote against Trump following a guilty decision. Those convictions were hypothetical. Now the voters can make their judgment based on a real conviction. Can the verdict sway Americans against Trump? Some analysts say it's unlikely. Partly because it concerns events that took place eight years ago. Now, there are far more pressing concerns. There's inflation, there's the migration issue, the money being spent on Israel and Ukraine, and competition with Russia and China. Trump's 2016 presidential campaign, too, was full of scandals. There are few other politicians who would survive in the same situation. Even Trump's recorded conversations about groping women could not discourage Americans from voting for him. Republicans largely stuck with him through two impeachments and the chaotic end of his presidency. I don't need to remind you of the mob attack on the U.S. Capitol. Despite all that, Trump is very much in a position to win back the White House. The verdict might be just another small bump on Trump's path to power. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.